All right, happy Labor Day. Uh, my family has a tradition for Labor Day. We actually celebrate my uncle's birthday. And so I am up in Wyoming enjoying some family time. And uh, I have gotten some kind of behind the scenes content. Uh, and in normal fashion, just to you know, try to be as efficient as possible. Yes, I am. Uh, recording this podcast while I am driving. So thank you for understanding the random noises or if I uh, pause or anything like that. But uh, I just, you know, I want to talk about the influences of our life and sometimes the unknown influences of our life. So, you know, my uncle who's nominated for a Grammy, he's uh, actually, you know, with the way the process goes, we understand before anyone else if people are going to get nominated. So he is actually getting ready to get another nomination for a thing called the Moja Project. It is literally the biggest Grammy nomination or uh, the Grammy submission that has ever been done in the history of the Grammys with 132 submissions. So it is, uh, I believe it's seven hours long, might be 10 hours long. I don't, it's, it's a little, it's a little unbelievable the amount of work that he did to put into this. Uh, he's recorded some of it at KMG. Um, he's recorded some of it, you know, all over America. He's even flown to Africa. It's all about the roots of music. And it's interesting just as, you know, this is, I think maybe the ninth time in a row, maybe the eighth time in a row, we've come to the, uh, to Wyoming for Labor Day to celebrate my uncle. You know, it's, It's so fascinating now with the mindset shift that I have had uh, to recognize just how big of an influence this guy has been in my life. Um, He is a a master storyteller. Um, He is a fantastic musician, very driven, um, and just really has this deep desire to help people. And I just wish I could have been aware enough and recognized that early on. And I think if we could take the the chance, or maybe chance isn't the best word, but you know, take the uh, a step back, take a pause to identify who is really influencing us. And, you know, just to be very clear, influences can go in either direction. They they can go in a good, positive direction or a negative direction. And it's just interesting. I wish I could have recognized this early on. I, I often say, because my dad is such a master musician, you know, early on, he wanted to give me guitar lessons for free, and I didn't realize I could be you know, a million times the guitar player I am today, if I would have just recognized who was in the room with me. But it kind of goes to this saying that, unfortunately, I've been helping people understand a lot recently. And that is, no one believes a prophet in their backyard. Now, what does that mean? Usually, we don't listen to our parents. We don't listen to people who we have a, um, an, a, a deep level of access to or an abundant level of access to. So we tend to take people and things for granted. And it's just interesting. You know, my mom next year, she's going to be 70. Um, my dad is already in his late 70s. My uncle, uh, who I started this podcast talking about, is in his late 70s. My dad and he are very close in age. And it's just interesting that now, with hindsight being 2020, I'm finally aware of who was in my life all along. And it, I just wish I could have realized and recognized and understood who I had in my life all along because now I'm trying to glean all of the 
I'm trying to glean all of the information and the knowledge and everything from them that I can and just soak up these moments. And it's just, it's so interesting coming back to Wyoming. I, there's a song by Mark Broussard I often, uh, I often uh, uh, quote, and he says, I never knew when I was young, I would want to show this place to each and every one. And it's, it's the, the population of the town that I grew up in, Centennial, Wyoming, right outside of Laramie, was 100 when I was little. Now it's 283. Um, and, you know, we, I'd go to school in Laramie and we ended up getting a house in Laramie. But, you know, my, my real stomping grounds are out here in, in Centennial and it's literally 283 people. And I just remember thinking when I was younger, this is such a crap town. Like, who cares about this little podunk town and now i i i think it actually is the seeds for which uh, so much of me is built on and i'm starting to see it and again i didn't recognize just how special <coughs> excuse me uh just how special my childhood was and i'm looking at my uncle i'm looking at my mom i'm looking at the the music that is just you know, quote unquote, normal in my family. And I think that we have to start taking a step back and letting uh, or, or allowing ourselves to understand what has actually happened, where we're actually at, what is actually going on, because we are so busy trying to launch our future from the future. We don't recognize Who's actually right in front of us? Who we actually have access to? And so many times in life, unfortunately, we have to experience the loss of someone before we recognize who they were. And I think it's important to just remember most people, like, and this is serious, guys, most people actually are doing the best they can. You know, my son watching him crawl around and do his thing like he's literally doing the absolute best he can he knows no better I know I know my wife uh being the the new mother that she is she is doing the absolute best that she can and yet we tend to get frustrated and hard on ourselves because and it and it comes from a lack of awareness or understanding and I think if you know whoever we talk to throughout the day, if we just come from that place of, man, they're doing the best they can. You know, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You know, I often say I wish more people would uh, treat people like babies, you know, when they're grumpy, maybe ask, oh, when's the last time did they eat? Do Are they hungry? You know, why do we stop doing that to adults? Because most of the time, adults are just, you know, they're just hungry. They 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 just didn't get any sleep. I mean, we're doing the same thing, but we're just not allowed to let it affect us. And that's not really healthy. And I think if we could recognize what is actually going on in our lives so that we can move forward from today instead of move forward from where we hope we could be, should be someday. And, you know, that's what happened with my fitness. I take it super seriously now. You know, I said I was going to drop all this weight, which I did. But, you know, I didn't stop there. I didn't say, okay, cool, I'm going to go. Like, I, yeah, I ate a cheeseburger that day after I hit the weight. But, you know, I, I've kept on it. I've been running every day. I signed up for a marathon, which, you know, I'm doing roughly five miles every single day. I'm, I'm working out. I mean, I'm actually, you know, up in the mountains of Wyoming right now. And, you know, I've got my um, resistance bands t t with me so that, uh, you know, wherever I'm at, I can be working out and I can be doing a um, fitness routine. Um, I've got my Garmin watch. I have a Tactics 7. I've got my Garmin watch, so I'm doing step challenges. I'm doing all these different things so that I can, you know, move things forward um, from that front which I think is, is super exciting. Um, it, and it, getting all those data points, I mean, it really, really helps. And, uh, 
you know, I challenge some of my friends to different uh, things that are, are like, whether it's step challenges or running or doing this, that, and the other. But, you know, you have to make things a priority, which means you have to allow your, you have to be able to get into a state of discipline with things that you want to achieve. And you have to be disciplined in your thoughts, disciplined in your actions, disciplined in your awareness. And I think that's why this, you know, idea of being up in Wyoming and having this time with family, my business partner's out. A lot of you know that I actually met my business partner through my uncle's band. And, you know, we're all one big family and just trying to navigate this thing called life, trying to navigate this is so much easier when you lean in and lean on the people that have been there day in and day out. And instead of always trying to find the new thing um, or trying to figure out, you know, how can I, what can I extract out of this relationship? You know, one of the things I love the, what what does Gary Vee say? Jab, jab, right hook or something. Um, And, you know, this is a variation. I always say it's a three to one rule. Give, 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 ask. Give, 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 ask. So if you want someone, something from someone, then give them three things before you ask for one. And that's just, you know, something that served me very well. And um, I've been lucky enough to collect some incredible people in my life. But I can't help but think that there are so many missed opportunities on when I could have created those memories that are really why we're on planet Earth and not, (laughs) you know, being the quintessential little kid like, oh, this person, you know, they're too old. And I've done that with my parents. I've done that with some of my family members. And, you know, sometimes it just makes me so frustrated because now I look at these people like they're the Mount Rushmore of my life and the people that are I'm going to be thinking of long after they're uh they're gone from you know this world and i just am gonna say man i definitely could have gone deeper on that relationship and so i just invite everybody to you know make those decisions to to create a a circle of people that you just go all in on but the big thing is is go all in on people who go all in on you This isn't just like if it's the like a lot of people are trying to do this, but it's it's they're they've got this super flip flop. They're like, oh, oh, my version of the relationship is give, 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 ask, get shot down. Okay, cool. Give, give, give. No, if it's if it's one sided, you got to find someone that you can collaborate with. You can feel vulnerable with. You can uh, feel creative with. You can get excited with someone who challenges you. Certainly, but the you gotta you gotta feel this kind of forward momentum in who you are mentally and physically. And so, anyway, these are just kind of thoughts that are going on in my head right now, and I just want to um, share them with you. And I'll on the YouTube channel. Yes, we're still redoing that a little bit. So. Um, you know, be patient with us because we've been getting ready for these two big events that we have coming up in September. Um, but this, I am going to, you know, uh, put something like this, like a little montage video behind what's going on on, on this video so you can kind of see what's happened uh, behind the scenes on uh, um, while we're in Wyoming. But uh, yeah, just thank you guys. I just appreciate it. I've been in a really contemplative state getting ready to go to Canada for almost a month. I'm really excited about that. Um, As always, you know, please share the podcast. It's completely free. It's free for you to listen and it's free for you to, to ask someone to listen. So, you know, that's my only ask. I appreciate that. And I will keep giving and giving and giving. My only ask, guys, is just, you know, share it. And then uh, we've got uh, 27th, 28th, and 9th. If you are interested in joining us at my house for a private retreat with Sharon Lecter, uh, Brian Bogert, uh, we've got a bunch of other people coming in that uh, it really is a retreat meant to recenter, re-engage, recharge, 
um, just what is possible in your life. We The big thing I always talk about is we want to turn what's possible into what's probable. And uh, if you want to do that, go to thefinalpercent.com and uh, click apply now and see if you're a good fit to come to that event and join us. But uh, yeah, thanks. These uh, Today, we're not even going to call this a... a a, a podcast we will just call this the humbling the, the humbling the humble ramblings of greg kimball so thank you guys so very much i appreciate you it's the first-